Hi, this is Andrea from the Destiny Farm. I'm here in my bed on a cold winter's night here in South Africa. And I would like to speak about the FIFA World Cup. Um, first, I'm going to be quoting from a website just to give you an overview of the costs that the South African taxpayers have had to pay towards the infrastructure and the building of the of the stadiums and the profit that FIFA has made from all of this. So I went to a website um, called links.org um, and I will be giving the the link at the end of the video. And an article was done by Dale McKinley from Johannesburg. And I'm just going to read what he wrote here, an overview that he did. The overwhelming majority of the economic benefits that have accrued from this sporting event has gone to an elite group of private entities, while most spending has come from the public purse. Private South African construction companies have made billions and are laughing all the way to the bank. WHBO, which I assume is a construction company, has increased its profit before tax by 142%, Murray and Roberts by 99%, and Group 5 by 79%. Meanwhile, the thousands of casually employed construction workers on the various stadiums, which are now mostly out of jobs, never received more than 3,000 Rand per month. As for FIFA and its local organization committee sidekick, they stand to make massive profits that are now, according to FIFA itself, estimated to be in the region of 20 to 25 billion rand, the most ever for any World Cup. No prizes then for guessing who's pocketing the booty and who's paying the bill. Again, now the costs of the 2010 World Cup stadium and related infrastructure borne by the South African taxpayer have increased from an initial amount of 2.3 billion in 2004 to a whopping 17.4 billion rand presently, representing a 757% increase. It is no secret that most of the newly built stadium will struggle to remain commercially viable after the World Cup is over, um, which they call the White Elephant Legacy. Um, now, adding to this, the fact that most of the transport infrastructure linked to the World Cup, such as the Gauteng and various urban highways, will either be beyond the means of ordinary South Africans or partially privatized through the looming introduction of toll fees. And it is also not difficult to see who is going to benefit from this. Obviously, again, private companies, um, of which the government obviously have their fingers in those pies as well. Um, while the initial bid document estimated that more than 500,000 annual jobs would be created through and as a result of the World Cup, South Africa has actually lost more than 1 million jobs in the past two years. In turn, this has helped produce a vastly increased current account deficit for South Africa, not because billions have been spent on basic services and infrastructure for the poor, which is obviously um, the justification that was used in the media for, you know, why the World Cup should be here and what benefits it will have, but mainly because of massive imports for construction. So the money did not go to, you know, uh, developing infrastructure and services for the poor, but instead towards massive imports for construction for the World Cup stadium, the Gau train and the continued outflow of domestically generated profit capital. Um, I like read through quite a few websites and here and there you pick up on the additional costs that it's now going to cost the South African taxpayer um, for things that went wrong during, before the World Cup, which now um, is going to have to be paid for by the taxpayer because, for example, um, something goes wrong, the police get involved, police investigation, then they give a figure of how much it costs now for this additional police service that had to be provided, which obviously wasn't um, budgeted for initially. And FIFA made claims that they're going to cover the costs, but according to the people who write these articles, um, it's again going to come out of the taxpayers' 
pocket. So just from another website here, they say that World Football Governing Body FIFA expects it prov its provisional income for the 2010 World Cup to be about $3.2 billion, which as I mentioned is about 24 billion rand, a spokesperson said. And again, I will be including the link to that website as well. Now, what I would like to mention here is the interesting thing is how the South African people are complaining about this point that it is coming out of the taxpayer's pocket and that certain costs have been increased, obviously, so that this can all be paid for. Now, it's interesting um, with the build-up to the World Cup and obviously during the World Cup, um, I would, for example, meet with people or talk to people, and the majority of people would complain about the World Cup and about how much it is costing the taxpayer, and that, um, as you, you heard me mention, there are certain consequences to, for example, the smaller companies um, and, you know, general consequences which FIFA obviously don't give a hoot about. And what is interesting is that, for example, um, about two weeks ago, I had lunch with somebody and this person said to me how ridiculous it is that the taxpayer is actually paying for this and that FIFA is making this ginormous profit. Um, and then I said to the person, okay, well, look, do you watch soccer? Oh, yes, yes, no, I, I do. I watch the soccer. So I said to her, but look, I don't understand. Um, you're telling me that that you have a massive problem with this, and yet you watch the soccer. You would go specifically at a certain time of day and switch on your telly and go and sit there and watch the soccer. And she said to me, yeah, well, you know, it's there. And I said to her, but, you know, have people considered that if each person who is apparently complaining that it's coming out of their pocket, if they just don't watch the soccer and don't buy tickets and don't participate, then FIFA will have a problem. I mean, you cannot complain about these large corporations and companies that are exploiting people um, and then still participate. At some stage, um, when we start realizing that there's a problem, and that we're being taken for a ride, isn't it common sense that we have to at some point um, stop participating? I mean, you don't have to watch the soccer. You don't have to participate in the world system. I mean, yes, there are certain aspects that we have to participate in. You have to eat and have a roof over your head and so forth. But I'm talking about the useless crap that we participate in, knowing that we are keeping the system going. I mean, FIFA can do what the hell they want to, and People can complain as much as they want to, but at the end of the day, you watch the soccer, you bought the ticket, you went to the soccer. I mean, wouldn't it be nice if if it is coming out of your pocket, if there was a direct consequence for the person who does the complaining but then wants to watch the soccer? I mean, why why in this world system... Does it come down to the people who take a stand and say, I will not participate? We are still the ones who have no choice. We have to pay tax. We have to, you know, buy food. And all of those taxes on all of those items are going towards the footing of the bill of these useless events in which little human beings run around in circles kicking little balls so that they can feel good about themselves. So, a point to consider is the following. If you are seeing that the money system and the world systems are screwing with you and taking you for a ride and exploiting you and making you pay for things which you don't want to pay for, then don't participate. Put your foot down and stop participating where you are able to participate. You know, stop. Um, the soccer is something which if everybody who has something to say about it, I mean a lot of people are complaining about it, if all these people just stop, FIFA will have a problem. If everybody just stops participating in useless crap, buying of useless crap, then we can start looking at actual 
self-directed solutions instead of just complaining about the problem.